what does the landscape of EV charging infrastructure look like in a world where Pandu Electric has succeeded? How does it change daily life for everyday people? I think if Pando succeeded, like you will see people not have to worry about where they live to buy an EV. You're going to have people, it doesn't matter where you live, uh, you'll be able to purchase an EV and have full faith that it's going to be able to be charged. My ideal is that you never think about it ever again. That's what I really want to get to where it's not like I need to figure out where I'm going to find a charge a place, place to charge my car. It's like, I don't even think about it because there's so many that it's, it's not a thing I have to actively worry about. That's kind of where the future for this company is, is ensuring that no matter what living situation you find yourself in, whether it's a single family home, multifamily apartment, or, you know, anything else, uh, you will have a place to charge your vehicle, uh, that's convenient and affordable. You know, I have a relative who travels to China for 